This football season, when you think about Oklahoma State versus Baylor, it might not seem like a huge matchup. The game will be in Stillwater on Saturday, but as this senior class faces off for what will most likely be the final time, let's take a look back at when they first faced off in Waco. It's week 11 of the 2014 football season. The Oklahoma State Cowboys are going up against a sixth ranked Baylor team in McLean Stadium. Freshman quarterback Mason Rudolph was supposed to be redshirting, but the once third string QB was forced to play in his first collegiate football game. J.W. Walsh went down the first game, the second game, and then so I was kind of promoted just because of injury to, to the backup spot. And so from then on, really the whole season, I started you know preparing like I was a starter and felt um, you know felt like I really and I was only one play away, and, and I was you know. Our, our starter was getting hit a lot. Our offensive line play wasn't as, as great as it is this year and the last couple of years. So, you know, I felt like, you know, this is going to happen. In, in, inevitably, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. And, and so I just want to prepare myself and, and kind of had a feeling that, you know, it's going to be one of these last games I can just feel it. He's taking too many shots. So ended up happening that way. And, um, you know, we lost the first one to Baylor. But, um, you know, I felt like, uh, you know, I, I played well enough in trying to provide a spark of energy to a team that was kind of, you know, we were kind of down and, and that offense rallied together and we, we, and we kind of, you know, then beat Oklahoma the next week and then propelling us into a bowl game uh, for Gundy's like, you know, streak to continue. It was it was big. That day, he turned in the most passing yards ever for a Cowboy football player in his first game. And you know how the rest of the story goes. This season, Rudolph became Oklahoma State's all-time passing leader, an accolade he notched against South Alabama and the Cowboy QB remains in the Heisman race. Quarterbacks can do amazing things. The Big 12 has amazing quarterbacks. Oklahoma's quarterback Baker Mayfield hasn't thrown an interception yet this season. Him and his Sooners are going up against Texas this weekend in the Red River Showdown, which is one of the biggest rivalries in college football, and it's right here in Dallas, Texas at the Texas State Fair. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Fried food, fair fun, and football. The best day ever, right? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Both Tom Herman and Lincoln Riley will take on this rivalry that dates back to 1900 for the first time as head coaches. But you better believe they know what it's all about. That game, I mean, there could be two guys that work at 7-Eleven coaching that game, it'd still be awesome. I mean, it's the Red River rivalry, it's OU Texas. It's, it's always gonna be great. It's not about me or any other coach. You know, it's about the players, the history by that game, the, the venue, the, you know, just all the, the epic games over the years. So that's, that's going to be a great game. Has been well before this and will be as long as they play football. Every single year, the entire stadium is split in half, uh, half crimson, half burnt orange. And uh, it's, you know, tied to the Texas State Fair every year, which is uh, an event unto itself. And so, uh, and then obviously you've got people on both sides of the Red River that, that think their state and, and their uh, flagship university is the is the better one and so it's um, a neat way for residents of those two states to kind of go at each other a little bit vicariously. Yeah, so it's a big deal. Oklahoma State is playing in their homecoming game against Baylor, which is also a big deal. And here is a look at the rest of the matchups happening on Saturday. There is a lot of good football to watch, so we'll let you get to it, and we'll see you right here next time. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Christine Williamson.